is the sand shrimp. Rob Brown of Jack Snack and Tackle has provided us with the absolute freshest possible sand shrimp you could ever imagine. These shrimp literally came in today. And boy, I tell you, they look good. I've chosen kind of a mix of large males and large females bearing a row. For the sand shrimp rigging, I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these nice big females here. Look at how lively that is. It's a great bait, Rob. Thanks. The way I'm going to hook this sand shrimp is I'm going to take the back of the hook. And this is actually the same way that I rig them to bobber fish with, or to back bounce, or even drift fish. I kind of do this on just about every system I fish where I'm using a sand shrimp. You see in the very back of the tail there, there's a, one last plate. I'm going to slip the hook right through the center of that plate and thread him on up the line just like a night crawler. But because I don't have anything to cover the hook point with, I'm going to just go ahead and leave this guy kind of bent in a U today. The short leader, the short 12 inch Dacron leader should keep it from wobbling around in the water too much and keep it close to the bottom. Now what you can also do if you want to thread it up the line and put on a chunk of eggs for a bobber bait or something else that you might do with the shrimp, you can go ahead and slide the tail over the eye of the hook and on up and literally just bring the shrimp right on up the line. And if you notice, this does very minimal damage to the bait itself. You see, he's just threaded on there and the hook is free. But for this purpose, I'm just going to carefully slide him right back down. This is a great way to fish your shrimp. They stay on for a long time and at most the head will fall off, but that tail will be on there for a long, long time, even if you're drift fishing this for salmon and steelhead. For the purpose of the sturgeon fishing, I'm going to leave him curled up in a U and just put him flat on the bottom. I really like the row on the sand shrimp when I fish for sturgeon. Would you like to see how we run bait on these systems? Well, what we do is we take a sand shrimp. I have a way to rig them on there that's real convenient and they stay on there forever. You take the back plate at the end of the shrimp and your hook, stick the hook in right in the center of the top, not the bottom. This isn't a steelhead drift rig. Stick it in the top, thread them on up the hook, keeping the hook buried inside the shrimp. Now this is the trick. You got to push his head up while pulling the tail and making the circle around the bend in the hook. Now bring the hook point out right between his legs at the tip of the shrimp. Right there. Bring the hook point out. Right there. Cracked crab. Now, this guy's on there good, isn't he? He's not going to come off. And you know what? When that head comes off from pounding the three ounce lead against the surface of the water on long casts, the tail is still going to stay on there. Not only that, but it's going to break open and release even more scent after about 10 to 15 casts. Now, to get your eggs on there, all you've got to do is take and push the hook or pull the hook all the way through. Just like that. Look at that. Mr. Shrimp is threaded like a night crawler. No threading tools, no strings attached, no nothing. Just straight up the hook. Whee! Okay. This is a really cool deal here because now I get the shrimp totally out of my way and I'm back to my hook where I can take a chunk of eggs. And these particular eggs are borax eggs to kind of keep the mess down for this illustration. Open up your egg loop. Right there. Stick the hook point through the eggs one time, leaving it kind of a length of it, enough to reach around to the loop. And throw this loop back around the chunk of eggs and carefully snug it down, not too tight. Just just enough to hold it. There you go. Now when I bring the shrimp back down, he just slides back down the line, right back to the eggs. And there you have a really nice shrimp and egg cocktail that will fish Springers or Fall Chinook in any river that you can bobber fish for Chinook salmon. Some days I've seen these fish get real picky where they kind of want the shrimp hanging off the bottom or curled around the side, but I, I tell you, about 85% of the time you'll have no problem getting them to take this setup right here. So there's the bobber rig as a whole. This is a three ounce system. It's ready to fish and it's set at 14 feet deep with the classic cocktail shrimp and eggs baited and ready to go. Good luck!
This should work for you.